Hello everyone. Today I want to uh, solve the Leco seventy nine word search, and this problem is the depth first search problem. And at the beginning, you can see uh, it will give the words, and then we we will try to find is it possible there's uh, any uh, subscription adjacent cells they connect to a word. So let me first introduce how to write this code. Uh, since we want to solve the, this question as a DFS, so I'll write the DFS function. And this problem is very similar to robot in a grid, and which I can uh, give the link in, uh, in, you can find my other YouTube uh, video. And at the beginning, our DFS, uh, we want to is search uh, from the any possible of the sales. So we traverse each sale. So here we give the x and y. And also when you travel, we want to check is uh, in the in the board. So if it's in the board, we will also put an index here. Okay, and we write the return for our function. Since we want to traverse uh, our this board, so we will give the we need to know the size of this board first. We get the height and the width and height, which we can get. So by use the length function to detect the bolt. So it will give our the, the height of the this bolt. Here we put a zero, so it will get the first array, for first row, and by measuring the length of a row, we can get the width, width. Okay. So when the robot, uh, when the code go inside, we first have to check this ball. Is it? Is six or not? If it's not, it's six. We can just return false. And then next, if the ball is six, we get the length and and width. And then we check uh, our traverse position should not out of the boundary. So if it's smaller than zero. All the uh, echoes is is bigger than the y. All the y small than zero. All the y is bigger than height. All the current words it doesn't match with the bold. Then we put bold. doesn't match then in this three uh, situation out of all of boundary all does not match with the wall list then in this situation we will return false. And if not, we can try to search in the wall. We first use font. We search. And if the world, uh, we hit the, the 
less uh, current later in the whole list. That means it's a sex for match all words. So in this situation, we can say D is equal to the length of the word minus one because we want the real length of the the should be uh, one in one bigger than our index in the array. So this situation return true. Now we recode the current uh, position. Things we don't want the the characters uh, when it uh, traverse the four directions. Uh, we we don't want it go back. The A should go B or S, and when it go B, it should go to C or F. Should not go back to A. So we use the uh, temp the current index, the, the current variable to store the current characters, and then remove this character so it will not go back. Okay, now we recursively to search for direction. To traverse, we go use the DFS and D plus one, we first search the right side. And then we also search the left side. Uh, the, the downward. And then we search the left side. And then we search downward. So we search the right, search up, search the left side, uh, search the up. And if we will find anything, we can return the truth. And if not, we will return false. And if we finish the search, uh, we can try the other words. So by this way, we will need to resume our characters. Since uh, if A cannot find a wall, we go to the B, we, we have to try a new four directions. This time we have to resume the original characters, A. So in the end, we use the any function to traverse every, uh, every characters. Once we find one character can connect the words, then we just stop. And for traverse this index, uh, we traverse uh, the x and y, the y's and y's and the height, and to run the DFS function. The DS function should start from zero uh, because we will start from the first row characters and put the i and j for the x, y. Uh, here, i should be in the range of the y's. And then j should be range of the height. Now we can try to verify this code. Okay, it's correct. Uh, 